Hey everybody, welcome back. Leo Pozzo, you know what it is guys, that's the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks very much right off the bat to all my new subscribers. Thanks very much for, for subscribing, I appreciate it. And for those of you that haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe guys, go ahead. I don't know what you're waiting for. The channel's taken off. I've received plenty of subscribers in the last uh, few months. It's just uh, been, to me, it's been skyrocketing from what I uh, previ previously experienced. I appreciate that. I've been steady to the channel. I've been loading videos uh, approximately at least once a week guys to keep you guys update on new projects and updates and aquarium maintenances and basically anything that has to do with aquarium guys this is the channel you want to check it out leo potzel go ahead and subscribe now if you guys haven't subscribed well to start this video guys it's going to be a special video i'm going to be showing you guys the update on what's going on in the basement so you can see right here that i loaded up some footage right here of me priming the uh the ceiling and uh, fast forward motion it's all sped up i don't actually work that fast and uh, here's a quick pick of the uh before i actually um started priming and drywalling and whatnot and uh, you can see that i'm just giving it a nice coat of primer it's already starting to look pretty good i started towards the back wall there and i'm making my way uh towards uh, the other side of the basement so here's another picture here of the before you can see that some uh, framing work of the bulkheads and the walls and uh, for the most part uh, it's going pretty good just give it a nice uh, thin coat guys so you know what I'm gonna probably give the ceiling uh, two coats of primer and give the walls just one coat as uh, the ceiling we're gonna be doing white so it won't hurt by doing an extra coat on the ceiling of primer it will just uh, you know I won't use as much uh, paint for the ceiling paint uh, if I give it an extra coat of primer as it will be more white so we're gonna basically like I said get started on doing some of these walls here's another fast forward video clip of uh, me just priming up this wall here the rest of this this wall here uh, leaning towards the stairs in the basement and uh, what else uh, I wanted to take you guys uh, as well this footage right here of me priming the fish tank wall I just wanted to capture this even for myself and for you guys to share this. This is basically a, a checkpoint in the aquarium and my hobby here that uh, the wall was built two years ago but now the basement's getting filled and uh, finished so basically you know I just wanted to capture everything here and have it for my own documents and uh, you know have it later on in future in life that uh, you know I got to this stage and I actually started uh, priming the the fish tank wall so you know I reached uh, a goal that uh, we're starting to finish the basement and it's all coming together so I really uh, appreciate uh, and you guys staying tuned and watching the update here guys and uh, you know my experience here on finishing up the basement and I just want to give you guys updates on what's going on and take you guys step by step and you know maybe you guys can learn a few things here and there or give you guys some ideas in your project so you can see that uh, for the most part everything's all primed, I just finished priming everything, it's probably the next morning right now after I primed everything walking down to the basement. You can see here that here's a before pick as well of uh, be before the state that it is in right now. So um, yeah, you can see how the bulkheads and everything kind of all ties in now. It's all uh, plastered, it's all sanded, it's all primed, everything's pretty much ready to go. I've already started working on some electrical, started installing some plugs and uh, receptacles. So, And uh, I'm just going to basically continue doing that right now, finishing up the, uh, you know, the electrical. And then from there, uh, we'll continue to uh, drill the holes into the pot lights. Uh, for the pot lights into the ceilings here like this ceiling right here does not have any holes We're going to be drilling those holes shortly uh, towards the end of the video I'll take you guys through that with with you as me as well So you can hear some of my electrical tools just laying here on the ground I just finished uh, or I'm just about to install this receptacle right here that one plug I already installed this one right here and a few others on the other side of the basement But I have a few more to do so I'm going to continue working on that and then from there We're going to mark out the ceiling all the pot lights on the ceiling we're going to mark those all out and um, we're going to drill out the holes in the drywall and then start connecting all the electrical for the pot lights and as well eventually we have to hook up all the uh, feeds and breakers into the panel that you saw there as well as make some doors uh, probably out of MDF or oak doors that we're going to put on top in front of the panel there to finish that off you can see that this plug over here as well is uh, installed already this one right here as well the switch right here for the storage room is already installed so uh, that's where I'm at right now. This is the stage that uh, I'm currently at. And, uh, you know, just again, just wanted to take you guys through the process. I'm going to get started on marking out the ceiling over here and, uh, you know, start drilling the holes for the pot lights and uh, start connecting all the pot lights, guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys what's up, what's next, and uh, we'll go from there.
and uh, that's right I actually do have this door to install here in this opening for the storage room so that's another thing that I have to do but I'm gonna first work on all the electrical accomplish all the electrical finish that all off and then from there I'll install the door Here we have four additional switches that we need to install for the accent pot lights that we have uh, so stay tuned for that we're going to be installing those shortly as well along with this switch right here that goes to behind the fish tank room. Okay well before moving forward I want to show you guys a few pictures of the before of the basement how it looked before than uh, where we are currently right now so uh, you know you can see that we basically uh, used some 2x4s and 2x6s here for the accent wall and uh, you know we just boxed in any of the bulkheads and any of the ductwork that needed to be uh, boxed in and we used 2x4s for the uh, studding uh, framework and uh, you know that's it pretty much we used half inch drywall and you know screws and nails whatever we needed and uh, you know drywall screws for the drywall we used metal corner beads we used uh, sheetrock 90 for the plaster we used uh, paper tape for the uh, joints or sorry uh, we used paper tape for all the inside corners and we used fiberglass tape for all the joints and along with the corner beads so guys I'm pretty much ready to drill a few of these holes here in the ceiling for the pot lights I just finished marking them all according to what I have uh, drawn out before what I have marked out all out now in the ceiling and I'm ready to drill them and pull down the wires guys and then from there be able to uh, install them uh, connect all the uh, pot lights that need to be installed and then from there install the breaker into the panel so uh, stay tuned guys while I take you guys through the process of that and um, you know go from there so thanks for staying tuned guys this is the basement update you can see here that we have uh, quite a few pot lights in this area that we uh, drilled the holes uh, with the hole saw that drills through the drywall according to the measurements that I have marked out uh, they're all basically in a nice straight line. We have approximately eight on one switch and then we have another eight over here on another switch. We'll uh, show you guys in more detail once we've got all the power going. We'll take you through uh, you know, what switch does what and what pot lights and everything guys. So we still have a few more to drill on this side. So uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna mark those guys out, uh, the pot lights into the ceiling. Drill a hole into the drywall and then from there pull down the wire, make the electrical connection and install the pot light. Well, I just finished drilling eight holes here for the pot lights into the ceiling here in the family room area. And uh, we're ready to pull down the wires here and make the connections to the pot lights. Uh, we still have a few more holes to drill here above the fish tank for the pot lights. And uh, we're going to get going on those right now, drilling those out. So we'll have all the pot lights drilled. And all we need to do is make the connections at the pot lights. And uh, from there, make the connection at the electrical panel. And we'll have light working in no time. So uh, let's get started on drilling the rest of these pot lights and uh, start to do the electrical connections. Well guys, I just finished drilling my last few holes here into the ceiling for the pot lights. And uh, they're all pretty much all drilled now, all the pot lights are drilled out. They're ready to uh, get the uh, connection installed at the pot light themselves. And then from there, uh, install the breakers at the electrical panel. So guys, uh, I can't wait to get all these uh, pot lights uh, wired up, installed at the panel, and uh, starting to wrap up and finish up this basement, guys. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Leo Pozzo, you know what it is. That's the channel. Go ahead and subscribe, guys. It's the basement reno update here and uh, the 125-gallon coral reef fish tank built into the wall. Thanks very much for watching. Leo Pozzo, guys. Till next time.